Thanks to the supporters of channel member Kieran Hodgkinson. Once again, Mrs. Wyrm, if your memory has not let you down. Yeah, we uh, we faced Manchester City in the final last year. Can't remember how we got on. Uh, but we've got them in the semi-final this time around. I guess if we beat them, we've got to be feeling pretty good about finally getting this job done. Hello, welcome to part 179 of Homegrown. I'm Kevin. Coming up on today's episode, we have both legs of the Champions League semi-final against last year's finalists alongside us. The team that beat us in the final last year, Manchester City. Since you were last with me, uh, we have continued to win league games and the reserves have continued to win FA Cup games, which is nice. Uh, but this is what the Premier League table looks like. We are champ oh, we're champions. Did we win the league? I'm so focused on the Champions League. I didn't even notice that had happened. That must have just come through. We certainly haven't had a trophy. I would have noticed a trophy. That must have happened between matches. Have they have Manchester City played more recently than us? Yeah, that's happened. And I've not noticed while I was clicking. So Norwich have beaten Manchester City. And as a result, we have won the Premier League for a third season in a row. That's an unfamiliar name. Atop the goal scoring chart. So there you go. That's why he's just arrived in the Premier League. Arrived with a bang. Well. What a signing that is. Seven and a half million pounds. 26 goals in 32 appearances. Only 25 years old. I mean, he looks like he's all right, doesn't he? My word. Um, it does mean, of course, Veloso is not going to win for the first time in, I think, three years. What are you going to do? Daly's third. He's not doing too bad. But yeah, three years in a row winning the Premier League. And we're in the FA Cup final um, with, as I say, effectively a very rotated reserve team. Williams in goal, Cassidy and Much in midfield, Alpish played, Guerrera and Dumbia as our fullbacks. You know, that is a very rotated team in the FA Cup semi final. Juan Jose returning in that game as well. Um, but we are through to the FA Cup final against Liverpool. We've already won the Premier League, and now we have to topple Manchester City in the Champions League. The fact that they lost to Norwich in the Premier League suggests they've already decided to focus in on this tournament again and put the reserves out against them. So I think it's going to be a challenge. Obviously, they beat us last year. Um, what's our head-to-head -head with them? I think we have to wait until we get into the match, don't we? At some point, I think we get to see our head-to-head -head with them. Is it on here? No. Well, this is our team anyway. This is the team we've already picked. Um, so we're going with Perez in goal. A back four of Kovalik, Hannah, Abagai and Vinicius Antonio. Much and McKinnon in midfield. Much is only fit to play 75 minutes, but I don't know. Without Kleber, it's still, I'm still struggling to find a partner for McKinnon. The plan was for it to be Christensen this year, but I've, Christensen's finished. I've written him off. So at the moment, Much is the man in possession, but it could well be that, I mean, it's very likely to be Kleber coming back in again next year and pushing McKinnon back to being the playmaker, even though McKinnon is theoretically better as a box to box midfielder. Um, I mean, I guess he is performing a little bit better than he has. I mean, his average ratings are dross. We know he's good. We see what he does in the match engine. He just doesn't really create goals or anything like that. So he's not getting good ratings, but he does a lot of good work in midfield. I and mean, then Ian and Park out wide. Juan Jose returned from injury alongside Daly, who's also returned from injury up front. It's very nice to have the power, firepower of Jovanovic and Veloso coming off the bench. What we don't need is both Jordan and Madness sat on that bench, though. So I think we're going to bring... I think we're going to bring Diego Perez into the mix as head of Madness because we've got to have someone who can come on for Much because Much can't play the full the full match. Neither can Juan Jose, apparently. Do we not get the head-to-head? -head? I'm sure we got it on these screens somewhere. It must be hidden somewhere, else. So we perhaps have to go and find it. But I'm sure there is a head-to-head -head record between the two of us somewhere. We'll have to find what it is before the before the second leg. But ultimately, they have beaten us in our in the biggest game in our history last year. And we've now got to get our revenge by knocking them out in the semi-final this year. We can't have them winning back-to-back -back Champions Leagues. No matter it doesn't matter that we've won the Premier League three years in a row. You can just imagine what their fans are going to be like if they keep winning the Champions League and knocking us out to do it. Well, yeah, but we don't care about the Premier League. It's only England. We're the champions of Europe. Yeah, well, the Premier League's harder to win. Juan Jose is in. Oh, that would have been a lovely start to the game. Still only 
70 seconds on the board and Juan Jose with a massive chance to put us ahead, but it is a good save from the Manchester City goalkeeper. But it's good to see that we've started brightly with some attacking intent and hopefully we've started as we mean to go on and we're going to go and grab some goals in this game. You know the script by now. We can't win it in the first leg, but we can lose it. That being said, if we're 3-0 up to bringing them back to our place, I'll be feeling pretty good all about that. Right, it's a Man City highlight, I think, unless we're winning the ball back. It started their goalkeeper, and now they are just uh, trying to work their way through our midfield, which they've done pretty easily. And then a wild shot that's gone nowhere near the goal uh, at the end of it. I mean, it's he did such good work to get into that position and then wasted it. I'm not complaining. Just a weird... A weird series of events. The ball is bobbling around in our area here, though. Abagai gets it clear, um, but that was uh, that was the first first bit of defensive panic. And I think that's oh, it's not offside; it's a foul. Excellent, Vinicius Antonio. I mean, he missed the header by a mile, but now we know it's because he was getting shoved by the player who's alongside him. So I'll forgive him for missing his header. Nil nil at half time. We will take this if we can pick up a draw in this first leg. And then bring them back to our place, just needing to win at home on the night. We've got to believe that's something we're capable of doing, surely, if we're as good as I think we are. And I do think, and I've said it many times, I think this is the best squad I've ever assembled in Football Manager. I don't know it's necessarily the best first eleven, but it is the best squad we've ever assembled. So I think, I mean, we're due. We're ready to win the Champions League. It'll be very interesting to see how this squad gets on in the Lujo Cup, which will be coming up um, at, towards the end of FM21, when we've maybe got a few, when it feels like there's a few weeks left for the beta, I'll get together all my squads from all the saves I've done this year, both on YouTube and over on Twitch, and put them against each other like I did last year. Stop advertising future videos though, Kev, because we've just conceded a goal and it's the one that got away who scored it. I mean, that's troublesome because, as we all know, he's the one that got away. And he's punishing us. I mean, that's poor from Abagai. I've sp spoken quite highly of him in recent episodes because of his excellent covering work. And he's done good work today. But then he just has a moment of madness like that and gives the ball away. We have got to make sweeping changes to this team. Nobody's really playing well. Right, we know we've got to take off much. So Perez is coming on for him. Then I think we're changing the strikers. We're going Jovanovic and Veloso for the final 20 minutes. And we're just going to do a triple change. And hopefully... Beloso is going to show everyone, including me, that he should be starting in the second leg. We'll see. Depends how he performs. Oh, that's a bit of a wild man challenge from McKenna. But Veloso nicks the ball off the defender there and Veloso is in. Can he apply the finish? He's rounded the keeper the way Veloso does. And there's the equaliser. It's an almost immediate reply. What incredible composure from Sandro Veloso in a high-pressure situation. What a goal. I mean, this is just great work from him. He's been on the pitch 30 seconds. Just nicks the ball immediately. And look at the way he does. We've seen him round the keeper so many times. Times. It is a beautiful sight every time he does it. And we are right back in the game. I don't know why everyone's looking sad. Oh, there you go. Now they're looking happy. Problem solved if they're looking happy. We're going to drop a little bit of encouragement because we've changed, we've turned the game on its head with these substitutions. But then Perez is just flapping. What's he doing there? I don't really understand what I've just seen. It's such a simple set piece. It's a set piece right towards the goalkeeper who just goes up one-handed, flaps at it. There's nobody behind him covering. I mean, it's just poor goalkeeping from Perez. Oh, dear. I mean, 1-2-1 one, one, one is still fine. It's not exactly what we were hoping for. But we've got our away goal, which is crucial. 3-1 would be a big problem. So let's not concede another one. But 2-1 we can work with. Oh, my word. The one that got away very nearly grabbing his second of the game. Right, we've got a last-ditch corner attempt. Cross comes in. There's no one to get on the end of that. McKinnon's picked up an injury, which is going to be a problem for the second leg with Kleber not registered in the Champions League squad because we didn't think he'd get fit again before the end of the season. He's still not fully fit, but will probably play in the FA Cup final. He'll probably play in the league before the season is done. So maybe we should have kept Kleber registered. Um, but with no McKinnon, potentially, and much still not fully fit, this midfield is going to look like it's not finished in that in the second leg. Right, we're 2-1 down. 
McKenna should be back. I think we've got a league game between the two. So I'll play the Liverpool game in the league off camera. And then we'll be back for the second leg. Our reserves are pretty good. We've just gone and beaten Liverpool 2 1 away from home. Um, I need some balance off the back of that great Veloso goal that just went in because I, I know what the comments section will be like. I just want to show you this goal that Adrian Daly scored in this game because this, I think, is probably at least as good as, if not a little better because of the fact he picks the ball up in his own half, goes past his man there, and then pace, power, and look at that for a finish. I mean, ultimately, we've got two of the best attacking forwards, if not the two best around. Certainly the two best under 25. It's a very nice situation to be in. Um, so this is the team for the second leg against Manchester City. And it is very similar to the team from the first leg. In fact, is it identical to the team from the first leg? Very different from the team that's just played Liverpool. And um, Perez in goal, a back four of Kovalec, Hannah, Abagai, Vinicius, Antonio, McKinnon and Much in midfield, Ian and Park out wide, Juan Jose and Daly up front. We have some serious firepower from the bench as well if we need it. Figuera, Jovanovic, Madness and Veloso all down there ready to come on as and when they're needed. And I mean, I suspect if this is anything like the first leg, uh, they, they might well be needed. We've got to win today. I feel like this... Um, I mean, normally, I think a team that wins the Premier League three times in a row, you might be starting to think, well, they've not won the Champions League while they were on top. They're, they're going to start declining soon. I don't necessarily think that's the case with this home side, home side because everybody's so young. I mean, the oldest player who plays regularly is Abagai at 28. I think Park is maybe 25, 26. The rest of them are all probably still candidates for young player of the year. So I don't think we're in any danger of players starting to decline or drift away from us. The problem comes with players who decide they want away because we're not winning the Champions League. Now, I think the fact that this is the third season in a row we've made it to the semi-final, even if we don't win it this year, I think we've established ourselves as one of the top teams in Europe. We're obviously three three times Premier League champions. Surely we're getting to the point where we're less likely to have players leave. So I think we do just keep getting better and better. But I kind of feel like we're ready. We should be winning the Champions League now. Um, and we have not had a shot on target in this first half. And that is a problem. Come on, boys. We need one goal. One goal puts us ahead in the tie. We'll give you, we'll give daily, we're giving you 10 more minutes and then Veloso comes on because you're both in form. But maybe he's a better big game player. McKinna plays it out to Kovalik. Lovely ball into Ian. Ian, oh, that was, that was inches away from our captain putting us ahead in the tie. Got himself into a great position, but it was not to be. And now it's Manchester City with the ball. And if they come up the other end and score here, we have a big problem. So fingers crossed. Somebody's going to get a tackle in. Much is the man who gets the tackle in. The City come away with the ball, but it ends up back with Park. And now McKinna playing it out to Kovalik. Kovalik forward to Juan Jose, who's probably going to have to come off soon. He's not fit to play the entire game. And maybe we should have started y Jovanovic because of that. I don't know. Juan Jose is our best player, I think. I think if he's half fit, he plays. Uh, but City have got the ball in midfield again. Um, we're really struggling to control this midfield. It's been a little bit of the, the story since we've not had Kleber. We really are struggling to control the midfield without him. And City have scored. And this is big. I mean, I said it's a big problem now. We don't want to see the replay. We're going to go attacking. We're going to make changes now. I mean, I know it's very early to be making sweeping changes, but I think we just change the attack. We go Veloso and Jovanovic. I know Zay had to come off soon, probably not straight away. Daly wasn't performing, so we get Veloso on and give him as long as possible to make an impact on the game. Uh, McKinnon now, Jovanovic, cross comes in, looking for Park, but can't find him. And now Vinicius Antonio with the chance for a cross. Cross does come in, Veloso's there, but it's blocked. And now Antonio again, Park, McKinnon, it's bobbling in the area and Jovanovic has scored immediately. He's been on the pitch a minute. It's the same impact Veloso had in the first leg. Jovanovic comes on and scores pretty much immediately. I mean, we just immediately looked more lively with the changes. 
McKenna's getting involved. Jovanovic is in there. We're back in this game, boys and girls. Half an hour to go. We still need a goal to level the tie, but we are on the attack. Antonio with the throw, but City win the ball back, and now they're patiently working their way through our non-existent midfield again. I know there's going to be calls for changing from the 4-2-4 off the back of this. Know that I'm going to ignore them because once Kleber's back, we will be fine. We might even be fine as we are. What a pass from Jovanovic, but Veloso can't beat the keeper. Jovanovic has looked dangerous since he's been on. A goal already, and that was an excellent pass, which unfortunately Veloso couldn't finish off. We'll make that last change. Velasco can come on for McKenna to inject some more energy into the midfield. I don't think we want to be taking off Park or Ian in these circumstances. Have we given away a penalty here? That's surely outside of the area. To lose on a dodgy penalty decision will really, really hurt. We're demanding more already, a preemptive demand more, and the penalty is not a penalty, not a penalty. Come on. It's not a penalty. It was outside of the area. It must have been outside of the area. It was outside of the area. Right, 15 minutes to go. Obviously, City have got this free kick, which is still in a dangerous area. Worry, are they? I was going to say worryingly, we're seeing it, but we didn't. Often you don't see them in this situation. Right, we're going to have to, we're going to, have to go crazy now and throw people forward. Um, Velasco can play further forward, so he can go in there. Um, I think Vinicius Antonio can move up to there. We can go to a back three with these three really easily. Um, they're quite capable of doing that. I'm not quite... Please, SI, fix this for FM22. You shouldn't have to press that a thousand times the way you do to get it to actually do what you want it to do. Um, right, you two can do that. In fact, natural libero, go for it. Be a libero. Um, he can be the box-to-box -box midfielder. We need to get him on attack. We need to get him on attack. We need to go very attacking. And we need to find a way to score a goal. Please and thank you. Finally seeing Abigail play as a libero. What a, what a day. What a moment to experiment with a libero. I just wanted more attacking players. Right. Velasco wins the ball back, finds Veloso into Jovanovic. Jovanovic has scored. We're back in the game. Change the tactic back immediately. The easiest way is probably, oh no, just give me the normal home tactic. Can I load it? I just want to, is it new home? Is it, no, it's just home. Is it that one? No, maybe it's new home. New home? No. Is that it? That's the usual tactic, isn't it? I think that's the usual one. Although, some of these are the wrong way around. Oh, God. Who goes where? Right. What has happened here? Veloso's at left back. It would have been easier just to fix it the other way. Um, so they should be like that. That's right. These two are the wrong way around. And we have him there, him there. That all appears correct now. Oh, Jovanovic has been the difference maker today. Lovely work from him. 2-1 on the night, 3-3 three, three on aggregate. Obviously, we're only level in the tie. But, we've done, I mean, Veloso does very well there to play him in. Good work from him. And now, just encouragement. Come on. Ian's injured. I don't think we're able to make a change even when we get to extra time. I'll check, but I don't think we can. Keep doing what you're doing, boys and girls. Do a football, all that all that stuff. Can we bring Madness on? Oh, we can bring Madness on. Right, Madness is on for an injured Ian. We go again. Come on, boys. Oh, my word. We want, we want Madness to, as the youth... The youths will say we'd like him to do a madness, which I don't even. I mean, it's a grammatically nonsensical sentence, but the kids like it. The youngins watching, they'd have been delighted with that. Oh, do you hear what Kev just said? <laughs> he's he's learned to speak grammatically incorrectly. What a hero! Oh, Perez with the save, and now we've got to face a Manchester City corner. Come on, don't throw it away from here, lads. <sighs> I don't want a penalty shootout, though. That being said, if it's going to be penalties, throw it away in the 119th minute rather than making me sit through penalties. I won't be able to cope with it. It's hideous. I'm recording this the morning it's coming out. 
I'm not going to have time to get it edited if the, I've got to edit out a heart attack because of a penalty shootout. Come on, boys. Come on. We What? What's just happened? Hannah's injured. Why was Hannah at left back anyway? Huh. How did we survive that long with Hannah at left back? And now what do we do? We have to... Oh, this is a big problem. If we got another change left, we haven't. Can't you just play on? It's an arm injury. For goodness sake, even if it's broken, play on. Again, SI, if you're watching, he plays on. It's an arm injury. Ah. Right. I mean, much is broken. Velasco, can he play? He's got 12 tackling. Much. 10 tackling. Right, we're going to put much. We're going to put... Oh. Right, Kovalik, he's going to go to centre-back. Right, this isn't the normal instructions we play on. Much is going to have to go to left-back. Ivanovic is going to come back into midfield and Veloso is going to have to be up front on his own. It's not ideal. We are now in try and survive mode because that is a big problem, especially if they score here because we're going to have to just go to two at the back and throw everything at them the way we did before. Right, come on, boys. Just hold on now at this point. We'll take the penalties. Right, Veloso, he's given it to Park. The two heroes who've been here longer than anyone. It's Park charging into the area. Oh, that would have been beautiful. I wouldn't. I can't think of anyone I would want more to score that goal there. But Park, he forces the corner. It's madness to take. It's an in-swinger. There's nobody there. And there's also nobody there to collect it on the edge of the area. We've only left one man back and Manchester City are on a break here and somebody needs to get a tackle in. It's Antonio who does the good work and gets the tackle in, especially because he's on a yellow card. Big risk for him to crunch in like that. Both our fullbacks have been on yellow cards since the first half. I don't know how we're only down to 10 men. Well, penalty shootout. I'm not picking my penalty takers. I mean, that looks about right anyway. I never know what to do to a team talk wise for penalty shootouts. So I just get my assistant manager to do it. I don't even know what he said, but he's helped everyone apart from me and our captain and madness who's taking a penalty. I mean, it's not ideal. It's fine. Right, Veloso, show me that you should be starting in the final by getting us there with a penalty in the shootout. Veloso scores. I mean, it's so, so composed from him as ever. Just rolls it down the middle of the goal. 1-0 to us. Come on, then. Oh, oh, 1-1. One, one. I hate this. Weirdly, in Europe, we're so evenly matched with Manchester City, even though we dominate them in the Premier League year on year. Park stepping up for his penalty and he scores as well. I mean, there was no doubt that those two were going to score. It's when you get a little bit further in. Madness is the one I'm worried about. We'll see. We'll see how he reacts. 2-2. Two, two. Oh, I'm hating this. Jamie Much now, who was only supposed to play 75 minutes. He's played 120, 15 of them at left back. And he's still got the oomph to score his penalty. What a man. And now it's the one that got away. Let's see where his loyalties really lie. If he misses, he wanted to join us all along. Oh, he's not the one that got away. He's been secret agent Lamptey all along. Jovanovic now. Uh, to make it 4-2, he's been fantastic since he came on. And he scores his penalty. Manchester City have to score. Perez has made one save already. Can he make a second save to put us into the Champions League final? Oh, the tension. Oh, the tension is hideous. Come on, just save it. Don't make, don't make madness have to take one. Oh, and now after saying I was worried about madness, all the pressure is on him. He scores. We're into the final. He misses and City are right back in it. Oh, God. And he was the one who was anxious after the team talk as well. Come on, Madness. Why are you taking it with your left foot? You're a right footer. He scores anyway. 
We're in the Champions League final, boys and girls, for the second year in a row, and we've taken out what has to be considered our biggest threat, surely. The team that beat us in the final last year. Who are we playing? I don't even know who we're playing. I don't even know who was in the other semi-final. I mean, Simon Hanna, torn wrist ligaments. I'm not having it. You play on. Stick a bandage on it and you play on. Ian, calf strain. He's going to miss the final. That's a big blow for Ian. Um, but we've qualified for the Club World Championship again. Um, I thought he was saying the Club World Championship was going to be at the new home of football, in which case we have to play on. When does it when does it happen now? It's not for another three years yet. I think we'll have won the Champions League before that comes around again. That nonsense that we hate. So I don't think we're winning that in this save. We're not going to carry on the save just to play in that stupid thing. Um, but we're going to be playing against Hertha Berlin or Liverpool. I guess we have to go forward a day then to see who we're going to be playing. I mean, we've beaten Liverpool with the reserves in the Premier League at the weekend. We play Liverpool in the FA Cup final as well. We'll take him in the Champions League final and then we have to believe at that point that it's happening. It has to happen if it's Liverpool. We know we're better than them. Come on. It was Liverpool. Although we did knock out Hertha last year, I think, didn't we? Didn't we lock them out on the way to last year's final? We'll go back and check. So Hertha 2-0 up from the first leg, Liverpool at home in the second leg and it is Hertha Berlin who we are going to face in the final. Um, have they won it before? They've won the Bundesliga a lot recently. They're going to win it again this year. So it's the best team in England and it's the best team in Germany. Neither of us have ever won the Champions League before. They've never even got to the final of the Champions League before. I'm pretty sure we knocked them out last year. Um, oh no, it was Dortmund. We've played them at some point. I'm sure we have. Did we play them in this year's groups? I feel like I've played them really recently. No. We'll go back two years. And now it's so far ago, it's not even relevant. Well, I feel like I've played them more recently than this. But apparently, I'm a big old liar. Oh, Kev's a liar. Exposed. Well, what day is it? Monday. Wednesday. We're going to do a final double episode. We're going to have the FA Cup final. We're going to have the Champions League final. It's going to be a YouTube premiere. So we had a chat along with me live while it's happening. And it might just be the end of the series. If you've enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. Thank you very much for watching.